Well, most folks, when they have a midlife crisis, they buy a convertible. I thought about a winery first because it, it, it brings everything we all like together. Live music, best live music venue in the North Coast. We also have an inn, great accommodation. Uh, but for me, alcohol, it's always uh, made things better. No, the wine is great and represents what it, Ohio is to the industry. We're the seventh largest state in the union, but we also the seventh largest producer of grapes in America and some of the best wines anywhere to be found. There's a Whitehaven. Whitehaven is, is made in New Zealand, actually, Marlboro County, which is known for their Sauvignon Blancs. It's a terrific finish, medium body. It's considered a dry, but it's really a semi-dry because it doesn't beat you up as much with the tannic quality. Cheers. Cheers. Lake Erie is the number one area in the state for wine production because the way the winds come across Lake Erie, westerly direction, the lake stays warmer in the fall and stays cooler in the spring. As the grapes stay on the vine longer into the fall, uh, the grapes become stronger, the acid uh, quality increases, sometimes with the sweet grapes, sweetness, sugars increase as well, based on what's called the terroir. It's the influence of the local environment uh, on the grape. And because of that, for the last 125 years, Ohio has been known for grape production. Having spent the last decade in Marblehead, Chris is an adoptive son of the community, and he's embraced the rich history of the area not only through his winery, but the inn that shares his name. This used to be an elementary school. How did you transform that into an inn? That building's been here since 1893, and the limestone was quarried right next door. That's a quarry beyond us. But the building's been here since 1893. When I purchased the building a number of years ago, there were, there were four unfinished apartments upstairs. So I, I thought to myself, well, would we rent an apartment in July, or could we rent a hotel room every night? And so we, we decided to, to, to turn it into a hotel with uh, upgraded accommodations, granite countertops, stainless appliances, full kitchen, uh, flat screen televisions, fireplace in every room. So it's the highest rated inn in northern Ohio. And I'd love to take you up, but it's full. It's, it's booked. And I don't want to interrupt. I don't want to interrupt whatever's happening up there. One last question for you, Chris, and, and I've been wondering it since I got in here. Yeah. Why is there a bicycle in that tree up there? There it is. Uh, you know, I could tell you, but I shouldn't. Okay, we can leave it a mystery. Let the mystery be.